Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. At the end of the last episode I was waiting an ender pearl. Let's go and see if that's finished. Because we want this efficiency one book. And that'll make actually quite a big difference to us. So let's get and have a look at that. Oh yeah, we have the third ender pearl. Let's push that into there. Now you see we actually enabled these two books. So we've got fortune and efficiency. I'm going to select efficiency. Uh, what do we need for that? Let's turn off this one. That's already made fantastic. So we now have the efficiency one book. So we can then claim that quest. Um, have a look at the quest that is not moon trance because that's just waiting for that it must be improvements huh yes there we go so now we can detect this one and claim a second enchanted book which is great now you're wondering what to do with these enchanted books well the first thing I'm going to do now is going to make an anvil and I'm going to combine the two together we don't have any anvils, so look what we've got for iron. One piece of iron, that's rubbish. I've got a block of iron, let's just make some ingots of iron and an anvil. Oops, missed there, didn't I? Okay, let's clear those off and put those up there. And we're going to combine these two books. I'm going to put the anvil down, say, uh, here, I reckon the time being and we'll just combine those two books and we need two XP and you'll notice a little bug there doesn't matter very much it's just a visual bug nothing too serious we'll come along here and we'll right click this twice and give ourselves with an empty hand that is two XP so now we can actually then combine these two books so now we have an efficiency two book I oh, we still have those in there, but they actually don't exist if I look, they have actually gone. So the next thing I'm waiting on is improvements. So we'll look at improvements again. Done that one. So that then opens up diamonds and pearls. We've got to make four ender pearls. Let's have a look. Diamonds and pearls. I found a strange assembly recipe in my data course and uploaded it to the assembly chamber. It's quite energy hungry, but data includes it can be help it can help with the assembly of energy transfer systems and we'll get two books and four ender pearls back and we've got to make four ender pearls well i've just ruined that well i suppose i haven't really because i had to use them to make the book to get open up the quests so there we go then what else do we have in here and then we have a fortune one and then we make a fortune book which is the same recipe as the enchanted book uh, as you saw before and that will give us a second fortune book okay so let's do that one else have we got open and that will then go we don't see what this quest is at the moment so let's have a look what else do we have in our systems elements well I reckon I've just got to wait for those ender pearls which is not great but anyway we could do something else make sure it's actually cooking in the pulls as well by the way by the looks of it it is good and we've got plenty of stuff in there for that to work and i don't think i need any transfer nodes at the moment so we'll just let this generate four ender pearls it's going to take a long time and we'll put this book safely away anyway like that I'm not sure I've got 64 obsidian on me. Oh, I do want to do this. Let's make another cache. Because I don't have any way of... Um, in fact, we also want to make a hardened cache as well. So make two of these, if we can. And we want to make a hardened cache. So if I do right-click that, I can actually make a hardened glass because I've got the cache, because I've got the invite ingots. Have I got any transfer nodes with me? No, I do need to make a transfer node. Hmm, that's a bit of a shame, but in fact, I actually need to make two transfer nodes. We've got a block of redstone and we've got a block of iron. I'm going to have to make some more redstone too, but I might do that off camera. 
because what I want to do here is we've got that block. Oh, I'll just put this one in here like that. And we can just make a transfer node like that. And I will actually will set this as a high, as a priority test because I want to do that one like this. So we go downstairs here. And what I want to do with this, you see, I want to put a another cache down here and extract from here. Oh, I don't really need a transfer node for that. I just need some piping. I want to put the cache down here. Just put one cache down here and put into this as a source of um, uh, so, uh, obsidian. That's really what I really want to do with that. Um, bum, bum. Pipe will be in here, won't it? Yeah, we've got 11, plenty. And I even got a cache in there as well. Now, do I have a round robin? No, I don't. Well, let's just put it on here like this. Try again. And connect that to there. Jump up. You see, that'll now start to get some obsidian in. I hope. Yeah, it's already got it in. But it might be breaking the other system, so uh, it doesn't look like it's... Maybe it's still working. So look what we got in here. Now, that's full of obsidian, so that's fine. And this is I'm probably empty of power now. So that's not making any more cobblestone. That's how the cobblestone got on. So we've now got triple compressed cobblestone. 12 plus this one. Let's move that out of the way because that's actually run out of power. So what we'll do now is we'll go and get some more carbon for that, I think. Nope, I'm not going to do that. There's something I need to fix. Well, that's okay for the time. I thought I had to update, upgrade this one because this is going to fill up with um, to, uh, it's going to fill up with magnesium magnesium oxide. Let's just uh, let's get a pickaxe back into my hand here. But we'll do that anyway. It's taking a long time, but I want to improve these pickaxes. So I'm going to I'm going to put this down here like that, and then transfer this stuff into here like this. That'll then slowly fill in. And I'm going to lock that. Shift right click it and then remove the lock on that one. And then we have that cache back. I want some carbon, don't I? Let's see if we can get some carbon available. I'm going to clear it off. I haven't actually locked this up yet, so let me just lock that one up as well. Might be, I don't need to lock that one up. Yeah, now I'm full. Let's go and put that into this into here so everything will carry on working. Oh, it's control shift click by the way. In fact I picked up one of these, let's just put that in there. Now we're empty. And I don't think I can actually force this into the output side of this. No, you can only force it into the input side. So I'll take that upstairs. See, that's working away nicely now. How much power have we got in this thing? Hopefully we're getting towards our 5.43. Mm. This is going far too slowly. I'm going to have to get that going a bit faster. Because that is actually limiting some of the stuff I want to do. It's like for example, what it's limiting is um, mob, mob drops. Because I want to get some more mob drops because I need so to make this other book. You see, this is the Efficiency 2 book. Uh, right, what I wanted to do today was I made some grout a while ago. And I hadn't got a redstone furnace. Now I've got a redstone furnace. We can actually make this into something useful. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to use, I think, I'm going to make a tool station. Uh, like this a tool forge so we've got basically we need seared bricks and so we need 12 seared bricks for that and I'm going to make a casting table so we need seven so we need 19 seared bricks if my arithmetic so it's still okay which has been really poor recently so let's see if that actually works so my 
our redstone furnaces here let's put those in because you can't cook these in a, in any other thing so if i look at for the uses of that you see you can, in the redstone furnace will give me a brick magna crucible will give me a seared stone but liquid form uh, and smelt it industrial crucible actually gives me 36 millibuckets 7244 that's actually a quarter of a brick I think which is a bit poor enchantment there so that's cooking away slowly and while that's cooking away we've got enough iron haven't we so to, to do the rest of that so we need some blocks of iron what's going on in here I'll clear that away let's just empty that out turn it back on again so we've just got to wait for these bricks they won't take too long 12 that'll give me three bricks let's do that first of all like that and I get this mighty smelter's book in exchange for those so we just want the, the last seven of these and we shall go and break the tool forge as well because we, the wooden one it's probably called a tool station isn't it tool forge and tool station which should be this one this is a tool station effective tool is an axe I mean I can do it by hand anyway so now the tool forge we're going to use this run like that we make one tool forge let's clear that off and then we can make a casting table like that casting basins are, have been nerfed so we can't make those but what we can do with this now is we can put this um, casting table down here and the tool forge down here and I'll show you why so this is the casting table put that down there and the tool forge we can put down here so now we can start to cast things but I just need one more piece of piping let's go and get that and an e fluid export do I have probably not in that just on there's probably in here fluid export import bus export bus fluid export bus I only want one I shall take the round robin just in case it's not working downstairs properly and one of these that. and what you can do with this actually it took me a while to figure it out to be honest with you so you can put that down there like that onto the table and you can put into that and connect that up now try again just right clicking it so that's now connected up so we could, for example, we can make a cast of something. So one particular type of cast we could make would be gold. So let's have a look. Gold is this one. Um, what should we look? What should we make? What shall I make? Probably a, I might. Maybe I'll make a shovel. So what do we need for a shovel? one shovel head like that let's go and get some cobblestone cobble is definitely the best have I got any cobblestone in here? no well I have yes let's just break down one piece of tri triple compressed and then break down one piece of double compressed and break down there we go it's nine pieces of cobble can always feed that back in again can't I so on the part build we'll put we'll make this like that so we now have a stone thing and you know what I'm going to do don't you all I'm going to do is put this stone piece down here like that and you can see it goes on put into this the gold like this and that will then fill up and cast itself take that out again and then we have a cast so we now have a shovel head cast and we can do that for everything so I'm not quite sure what I want to build with that yet but we'll, we'll figure it out sooner or later but we might um, I, the first time I built it I built a lumber axe because trees could grow but since they've been nerfed we can't grow them anymore so I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to grow on that one but that's how that works and if I remember rightly in version 
1710 of Minecraft or Tinker's Construct, we can make some rather exceptional weapons with this. So let's put this book up there. Like that. That's all that actually. Wooden tool rod. Let's put that there. So we have our five that's the Rooster Reborn one. I haven't looked at that yet. I must do so. And then we have these block of platinum and whatever else. Let's put those actually. Let's convert the block of platinum first of all because it's not the best to have it as that type. And block of iron. Oh, I, can put the sh I can put the shovel head away as well, can't I? Like that. So, next thing. I'm still waiting on these ender pearls, and I reckon they're going to have to wait a very long time to get four ender pearls. And I'm going to do the four ender pearls first because um, with three of them we can make the next part, can't we? Here I can't do very much except for this bedrock one, and that'll give me these two quests here. Um, and I don't see anything else that's opened up that I can actually do because this one I'm not going to be able to do because that needs. Um, circuits processors this one I can't do because it needs dash this one I can't do because it needs a compressor which needs dash the only one I can do it is this one and that will give me a loot chest so it might be worth doing the calculation let's grab a press in fact it actually might be even worth them um, doing a vib what's it called a vibration chamber no a vibration chamber is the one for producing power I need the one that, that does the. Probably can't do it anyway. Fluid crystals. What's the one I'm looking for? It's the one to make the crystals grow. Growth crystal. Yeah, that's it. Called the growth thing, isn't it? I can't see it actually. Well, just probably because I don't know what it looks like. Here we go. So, quartz glass might be possible because we've got galleon arsenide. Fluix block needs four fluid crystals. And these ME glass cables, well we've done that already. See this is where you can use the the more efficient pure ones. And this is actually to convert coloured ones into into fluix ones. Just a bucket of water will clear that off. So that's one possibility. Let me um take a stack of that actually put those away because it actually might be well worth keeping a few of these into into that what have we got in here all right okay that'll do what else we got for cobblestone probably won't take that out of there don't need any double compressed in there let's go and put this into the back into the system over here so we've got 16 of those which is enough to make 17 which is not actually that much, but it's enough to make one quadruple compressed, but we need a quintuple compressed as well, we need four of those. That's quite a lot. I think I would like to get this thing finished a bit faster, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go up to the quarry and pinch the, uh, the generator again. I don't think I'm short of materials for the time being. But with 20,000 RF per tick, it's reasonably good. If you can take that redstone torch, don't need that there either, do I? No, I think that was the missing one I was missing a while ago. And you'll see this has actually gone right down almost to the base of the... of the... Um, oh, it's got a mini... little... A mini zombie there. Is it night time? No, it's midday. Is it not dying? I want to go down, but I need some carbon, don't I? And I think I've used all my carbon up. Carbon up. Let's have a look what I've got in this chest here. Oh, loads of mini carbon. That'll do for the start. I really do want to feed this into here without interfering with the other stuff. And I need this. Ah, oh, wow, well, I'm doing badly. Let me just. I can't go anywhere to put it actually. I'll have to go back and put it into the system. 
let's put it what we can into here that's good that'll give me some space to get the uh, silicon dioxide out of here I know what I need this for it's to make the advanced la um, laser but there's a quest for it so I don't want well, I could make it actually let's put that in there like that keep taking this out I'm going to empty that out I really want the carbon but I've got to wait for this to be done it won't take too long well maybe it will I'll tell you what we'll do we'll stick a couple of stacks of that through there that'll have a burning time and it won't be too bad it'll give me two stacks of carbon while that's doing the rest of it so let's go and put this just back over here not this just the sterling generator goes on the side of this and then we can fill that up with carbon and then we can put the other carbon in here oh it's got plenty of carbon in there is it going is it pulling it in no it's not now it is all right don't we go again and we can make Right, gonna take the rest of the silicon dioxide out of here. Still going on, but it's full, so let's get rid of this. This is all to make glass. We need that for the advanced uh, laser, or the laser plus as it's called. So while that's doing that, let's go and get some more. Gosh, it'll probably be in here. Yep, loads of it. Just having a think. It's basically this chest is the problem at the moment. What I could do is I could move it up one and break this bit here. Let's do that. I'm going to wait for this to empty. Like that. I'll make these two because there's plenty of blocks above this. There's about four, I think, before the next before the next stuff. away so really all I'm waiting for here is the is the sieve to finish sieving this stuff out of here like that so while that's doing that let's go and put the broken iron away over here and we can carry on putting the carbon in because we want lots of carbon there and then come along here fill that up there and won't be too long that was a quick sort about 27 is down here So what I'm actually really waiting for now, of course, is this to empty it out, to empty out. I'm putting the stuff in here, I can sort this as well. It's still got quite a large amount of broken iron in there, so that's quite good too. While that's doing that, let's go and put this broken iron away. And you will have noticed by now that the that the iron in Galactic Science 2 is not a problem. other metals away can't we that's aluminium copper gold let's go and put those away in fact no well, first thing first let's go put the next stack of carbon in there oh 
bloody run out of space in that. That's a bit of a shame. I'll tell you what, take the iron out of there. Gold. I can put the rest of the iron, fill it up with iron. Sort it. Ah. Put the rest of the iron down there and then go back and repeat this process. By the time that I get to the next episode, I will actually wait. I'm going to wait for these ender pulls. I'm not going to do these on, on camera because they are too slow. But let's have a look at this laser plus if we've got the ingredients for that. So I can always do the quest. I can always do it, of course, because this one. See, this is in the workbench. So I need 16 diamonds, 192 redstone. So this redstone I need to make and the rest of there's no big deal at all. We've got plenty of the materials. We've been doing the glass. 144. That's uh, two and a half stacks. Uh, but it's three stacks of redstone which is a bit more of a problem at the moment, strangely enough. That's wrong one. How are we doing in here? So here you see we've already got ten diamonds in here so that's pretty good. Let's get rid of the aluminium and the iron. Feed that into that and carry on. I think I'm going to have to concentrate in a way and getting that into here automatically because it's a it's a bit of a waste of time at the moment. Nothing in there. You see that's going down. Making platinum ore, so it's making shiny shiny stuff at that moment. Next stack. Oh, we nearly got rid of that. Well, there's a whole load in that uh, chest, of course, but... Uh, how are we doing here? Nearly finished. I also think that it's, um, this is... Some of this has been speeded up as well. I think that the uh, sieves have been speeded up in version 0.09. Right, that's now full. Let's get rid of this stuff. Yep, just two stacks of dirt. In fact, I can do that now. Let's do that because, because this is such a pain. So let's break away at this one. And break away at this one. I probably need a pickaxe for that, don't I? What I'm going to use, I'm going to use a, let's put this here, oh, that's fine, this saves me a pipe, and I'll put this, oh I did take the filter out of there as well didn't I, should have, get rid of those two, and let's put the, the transfer node on here like that, and make sure it's got the filter in, and then we can put the rest of the stuff into here, actually that's interesting because it does work. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a hopper. It's better than um, nothing and it doesn't take any space up. So let's make quickly make a hopper. Have we got any recipes for hopper? Have we got any hoppers in here? No, I don't see any. Have we got a chest? Let's have a look. Wood. Have we got enough wood? And now we just need a hopper, so I need the ch chest and some iron. We've got six. That's a bit, that's a bit uh, tight, isn't it? Oh, I've got, already got a hopper. Never mind. We've got an extra chest now, it's not too big of a deal. Let's come put this hopper down on top of this. So if I stand up here. And hit shift right click that onto there, it would get feeds it in. So now I don't have to mess around so much with this. There I can simply come along, put a stack in there like that, and put the rest of it in here. It won't go through fast enough, but it will go through. And it means I don't have to mess around doing stuff all the time. So if I put it in here, yes I did. And of course on top of that I could put a chest or I could do it how I want to do it. So we'll just fill up this. And actually, I'll put all the rest of the stuff in here now. Let's sort this. 
because I think it's almost everything's been sifted except for those last four. So we'll take all the ores out of here like this. And the slag and the stone. Plenty of bone meal, that's good. And ice. I'll just leave the, the charcoal in there for the time being. I think that's a sensible approach. But unfortunately these ender pulls are going to take such a long time to do. I don't need the iron. Broken aluminium is fine. So basically just iron and broken aluminium which are here now. Yeah. So the rest of the stuff we can put straight into the system. If I go the right way that is. I don't need the mint. Because it came from digging it up. So, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, learned something new. And maybe the one thing that was actually sort of significant is this casting table. So, until next time, bye for now.